Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yoni, and what we're gonna talk about today is how to get Pokemon cards at a big retail store. So the stores I am talking about are like Walmart, Target, uh, Meyer. you have GameStop, and some of you might not know, you can get cards even at Barnes and Nobles, Walgreens, and other little retail stores that you might not know of. So let's get right into the subject. Before we talk about it, this box right here, I'm going to be giving it away. This is a $20 uh, Hatterene box from Champions Path. You can get two pretty good pools in here. They have the Shiny Charizard V and the Rainbow Rare Charizard V Max in this. So you get four packs, you get the promo card with the big card of Hatterene. So if you would like your chance to enter in this giveaway uh, at 1,000 subscribers, I'm at like 168 right now. I will be giving this away to one of my lucky random viewers. So if you like to if you like to enter, please subscribe, please like this video, and you will have a chance of entering into this contest when I get a thousand subscribers. Alrighty, let's get into the subject that we were talking about in this video. So if you would like to get one of these boxes, I know these are pretty uh, hard to find. The shiny uh, fates, any of these products. This is an elite trainer box at a store. You are going to have to do a few things, and it's not going to be easy to find these products, but these tips will definitely help you out trying to find some of these products. So, the first tip is when you go into these big retail stores, uh, you might not know when these uh, vendors, these third-party vendors, are going to restock the cards. Like, I was at your, your basically, uh, situation where I would walk into a store, and I couldn't even find any cards because the hype of Pokemon right now... Couldn't even find like blaster packs of like those cardboard ones, the single packs. So these tips will definitely help you out. So my first one is to ask any store employee if they know when the third party vendor is going to restock the cards, either in the card section, in the back, or even on the, the aisles uh, where they put them. So first things first, you got to know there it's not the store that stocks the cards. It's actually a third party vendor that comes in throughout the week to stock the card. So some of the employees don't know when they're coming in. So definitely be patient, be courteous uh, to these employees because you don't want to kind of piss them off or uh, lead them in the wrong way because they probably won't give you any information. My first thing uh, I think you should do is definitely ask the technology desk area. Uh, the reason why I say this is because the third party vendor just doesn't do the Pokemon cards. They'll honestly do other things like DVDs, magazines, uh, gift cards. So asking them, they'll probably see if he has actually came in, the third party vendor to that store. So they might know a little bit more information if he's already stocked that week or he has not. Uh, another tip for this one is asking employees, definitely ask the service desk because they might see him stocking the gift cards because I know my Walmart he stocks the gift card, so maybe they'll know when he's when he's coming in, uh, if he's came in during that day. Uh, so, like I said, you want to be nice as possible when you're asking. You don't want to lead these employees the wrong way, and them not giving you information to know if the guy stocked or maybe when he's coming in, because they might have a little bit of information when he comes in during certain times. And lastly, I talked about the stores to look out for for these big retail ones are Walmart, Target. Barnes and Noble and GameStop. Those are some uh, big four ones. Other ones maybe be like Walgreens. I know they do uh, a little bit of Pokemon cards, but those are definitely the stores you want to look out for. And definitely in my area where I live, they usually do Thursdays or Fridays. So those are the big hunting days for me. So you got to try to find out when your local stores, your big retail stores, are trying to restock those days because. It seems like the third party vendor usually does it in those days. Sometimes it could be a Saturday, sometimes it could be a Wednesday, but most likely it's either a Thursday or Friday on those days. My second tip is a big one. It definitely helped me out a lot when I was collecting cards, was definitely making friends with other people who are collecting Pokemon cards. So uh, if you're seeing anyone kind of waiting by the, the card section or wherever they stock the cards that could be in the back, by the cages in the technology area, or it could be a different aisle uh, where they're limiting the cards. If you see people waiting around there, definitely uh, go chat with them. See what they're up to, what they're trying to collect. 
Some people are there to collect Pokemon cards, and others are there to collect sports cards. So, these people are usually people you want to talk to because they are the people knowing kind of when the vendor usually stocks. So, getting their information, getting their cell phone numbers is definitely a great thing to do because you can keep in contact with them. You can give them information if you've seen it at a different store if they stocked, or they can give you even information too uh, when uh, another store stocks or when they think maybe another store is going to stock. So definitely making friends uh, with other people that are collecting in this hobby of Pokemon or sports cards is definitely a great situation and definitely a great thing to do for your chances of getting Pokemon cards. Uh, another thing is, is definitely create groups. So say you have multiple people uh, that you have contact information. People you trust, people that are not scalpers, people are uh, actually collecting for the good of things and want wants to get other people uh, cards, definitely create groups. Like the people I know in my area, we've created a Facebook group. There's about five or six of us. And we all go look at these stores at like Thursday and Friday. When I get off work, I definitely try to help out and do my part and say, hey, this store hasn't stocked or they let me know if the store has stocked and vice versa. I'll let them know if a store is stocked when I'm at another store. So definitely making sure you create groups once you have multiple people and building that trust between that group is a huge thing because you want to make sure they're giving you the right information and you're giving them the right information so you have the best chance possible of getting pokemon cards or even sports cards is if that is what you're looking for my third biggest tip is definitely you need to be patient and not get frustrated if, uh, if the card section does not stock that day because some days uh, it will not restock at the same time. So like I said, at my Walmart, my Target, they usually do Thursdays and Fridays when they stock. But some days it doesn't stock on those days. Maybe it'll be a Saturday in the morning or maybe it might be a Wednesday and you didn't know about that stock. You can't get frustrated with that and you got to be patient because if you get frustrated, most likely you're going to not try again and you're not going to get any cards and that's kind of a lose-lose for you. Uh, some days there's going to be scalpers there and they might buy up all the Pokemon cards or they might buy up all the sports cards that you are looking for. It's It sucks, but definitely like they're not going to be there always. If, if there's other people there, the scalpers usually like to find the stores that no one's really going to so they can buy up all the Pokemon cards. So it definitely sucks when there's a scalper involved trying to buy up all the product and then resell it back online. But you can't get frustrated at that because if you're the one that's going to quit first, he's going to continue going and he's going to continue getting those those Pokemon cards or those sports cards. Uh, some days it will restock. Uh, it will restock if you're at work or you're doing something maybe with family, friends, and stuff like that. Don't get frustrated. There's always another week. They're going to restock every week. Usually that's what happens at my stores. And if you miss a week, it's all right. You're not going to get cards every week. Make sure... You're not getting frustrated and stay patient with that. Sometimes you're you're gonna have to wait at stores for a long period of time if you're wanting to get the cards, because you would like to be like the first couple or first five that get there because you don't know how big the stock is gonna be. Each week is different of what is gonna be uh, stock from that third party vendor. So making sure you wait there when you do have time. So say it's after work or say it's time when you have off, definitely wait there for a little bit. And having those friends like they talk about if you meet them, they'll go there. You're going to have talk, conversation. I love talking about video games with the guys uh, I made friends with. So making the time going by faster is definitely making friends, seeing the same people are there, and just having conversations with them will make it, the time go a lot by uh, faster. And then lastly, this is a big one. Talk to vendors when they restock to see if they will do another store. So at my Walmart... Uh, the third party vendor, he actually does to the stores where I live. He doesn't do the other Walmart, but he does do two of the stores. So sometimes if you're nice and you talk with the third party vendor who's stocking the cards, uh, you want to make sure maybe give him, give him a little conversation with him and see if he's going to stock the other store that day. Because some days uh, he'll say straight up he's not going to stock the other stores because he has other local areas that he needs to go to that are not in my hometown where I'm living currently right now. So definitely feel out the vendor. Some vendors are gonna be very, very, very angry. Like that's just how they are. They don't like people. They don't wanna be around people. They would rather just stock the cards and then uh, have the line go 
after that because that's just who they are and you got to respect that they're the ones putting out the cards and they're the ones that are giving you it so you need to respect them you need to do the things that are in a respectful way however if the vendor's pretty nice and you can have a conversation with him definitely asking him if he's going to restock the store this day or the next day is definitely a great question to do if you feel out with a guy so just read the room with the vendor and definitely reach out to him and see if he would uh tell you that information and that is all i have for today ladies and gentlemen these are just a couple tricks and tips that you can use to find these pokemon cards like i'm holding right now the shining fates etb I know you can get these valuable cards. I'm gonna send these off to get graded at PSA when it opens up on July 1st. I got two shiny Charizard VMAXs, and I have one that's actually currently being uh, processed right now by PSA. So if you're trying to look out for these, these products, definitely use the tips and tricks that I talked about in this video. They definitely will be very helpful for you for collecting either your Pokemon cards or even your sports cards. And that is all I have for today, and this is Yoni, signing off.